Let's jump to this story from the Post Millennial. Breaking trans male arrested for planning Colorado school shooting had anti-Trump manifesto. Whitworth faces charges of attempted murder after allegedly making threads against schools in Colorado Springs, Colorado. This is crazy. So this is a biological male who is trans identified. His name is uh, William Whitworth, was arrested and charged after police investigation in Colorado Springs revealed the 19 year old was responsible for threats involving schools in Colorado Springs Academy District 20. The Eber County Sheriff's Office charged Whitworth with two counts of criminal attempt to commit murder in the first degree, criminal mischief, menacing and interference with staff, faculty or students uh, of edu- educational institutions. Now, apparently, uh, I-, I would say based on this reporting, this must have happened well before the, the, the mass shootings that we, uh, that we saw in Nashville. However, when this individual in Nashville is being called a victim by the Nashville protesters, by the Nashville, I'm sorry, insurrectionists who stormed the Capitol, they held up seven fingers. Right. Symbolizing that the individual who committed the mass shooting was also a victim. How many more people of leftist persuasion will, will think to themselves, if, that, if they do this, they will also be cel- celebrated? Well, transgenderism the extremism it's it relies on violence to get its way and the air of violence when you tell all your supporters and and folks going through this like this young man that critics of you or those who don't share your views are their their criticism is violence genocide you know that 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 uh, it it puts a target on people's back that you you don't agree with me that means you're violent and if you're violent you don't deserve protection, and I can defend myself against you. If you're a fascist, you're outside well, the protection of the law, well, and we can how, go after you and, and, and this, be violent with you. And this is how you. they frame it. They frame it as though it is self-defense right. when you say words. Right. So, if words are violence, you're all a target, America. You're all a target. It's hard for me not to see uh, a martyrdom component to this, too. Like, if you feel like you are depressed and you've got all these questions about who you are and your gender and your online community is telling you there there is a need to take action now, that in some way you may find that you are uh, pursuing, you know, basically immortality through a terrible act. And that, you know, for the rest of us would deter you from doing this. But if you're in a psychologically disturbed state, you see it as the ultimate Called action, which is tragic, and it can. Really it's terrible. Hurt. Imagine, imagine if you've been ripped away from your biological reality. But that's what's happened to these folks. They've been caught up in this, the thrall of this extremism, and everything that people rely on to get through life. Uh, you know, I'm comfortable. I. In me, in me, I, yeah. you know, I There's am no what I am. There's no like true north yeah, because yeah. everything Everything, and, and of course, that's the communist way, right? They want to take everything away from you. So you rely on them and their ideology ultimately. And that means tearing apart the family, the institutions that compete with the state, religion, uh, and also uh, tearing tearing you away from your biology. I mean, that, that would be the best victory for the left. Well, think about nothing. Nothing is certain. And the only thing is certain is this consciousness that we will raise for you through the Marxist revolution. I think it's it's poised to shift at any moment into who knows what. There's there's no reason, in my opinion, that it stays with just the gender issue, because we've also seen transracialism and things like this. Now, they've been slow to actually accept it, but it seems like they may be getting towards accepting it because according to their ideology, they have no choice but to accept it. Right. The, the argument being that. If anyone can identify as whatever they want, if a person appears white but agrees with them ideologically and claims to be black, then they must be. They are. And so the door has been opened completely to to even transracialism. Now you're starting to see universities. And that blows up our anti-discrimination laws, right? Yeah, that's the funny thing. If you go in there and you identify as a black-owned business, who's to say you're not? Well, Serge is African-American. That is correct. I am. Yeah. South Africa. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I understand, but and and uh, you know, and that they kind of deny they're rejecting all these fundamentals. They don't believe in racial equality. They don't. They believe in racial discrimination. They absolutely do not believe in racial and, equality. And I tell you, and I tell you, this transgenderism, the targeting of children, and the endorsement of mutila- mutilation of children. I mean, that's demonic, and. Uh, uh, if there's a way to kind of denote something as being good versus bad, 
the, dis- the targeting of children in this way uh, and the endorsement of it by our political class, you know, well, I mean, countries can't survive let's, destroying their children. Let's put it, let's put it uh, simply. In Scandinavian countries, they have stopped gender affirmation, as they call it, for minors. They have stopped it. The, the countries the left claims are the bastions. Uh, the examples of good health care have said, hey, this actually was not helping. Yet for some reason, and, it's, and I think it's because the left is a cult. It doesn't matter what's true and correct. It doesn't matter what's logical. What matters is they gain power. And the cult says it's so, so be it. Mm-hmm. Even if they, they want to come out and say Sweden and, and Denmark are so great. Okay, well, Sweden and Denmark said stop doing this. No, they won't. Well, you know, I'm they convinced that it. you can't, an adult for themselves or certainly for a minor, cannot give informed consent to these this transgender Trans, you know, surgeries, uh, whatever you want to call it. And the fact that it's allowed both legally or medically is a problem that has to be dealt with. But no one should be, no one can do it under traditional medical ethics. No doctor can do it and it shouldn't be allowed legally. But they ha- Adults and children, because it's, it's like someone, co- someone co- well, you know, someone going into a doctor and saying, I want you to cut off both my arms that should not be allowed to happen. And and the idea that someone can ethically do that as a doctor or that someone can consent to that under I, traditional standards of uh, uh, informed consent laws and under and ethics, it, it's it's at odds with well, everything we know about medical but, treatment. But, but see, the question I have with this when it comes to adults is what is the ethical line? And so I can certainly understand removing someone's arms because that makes them, that makes them dependent to a certain degree. But if someone goes in and says that they want to be sterilized, they can still use their arms to eat, sleep, work, and do whatever. I mean, if, an, if a human adult wants to split their tongue or get tattoos or remove an earlobe or whatever, it's kind of like uh, people do a lot of weird body modification stuff. Well, what, is your, the treatment, what is the treatment they're seeking and what is it, what is it design, designed to solve? Well, but the the doctors can't just do medical procedures that don't work. But, but, but my, my issue is... The, the, what is the line to which someone is allowed to modify their body surgically? I don't know what the line is, but I do so, know. So, I mean, just because I don't know what the line is right now, doesn't so, mean that it ought to be legal to have you go in and have a doctor mutilate, mutilate your body to treat your transgender dysphoria. That's, that's the opposite of what should be done medically, and it should be prohibited under law, just like other radical surgeries would be prohibited in, in similar circumstances what about tongue forking well i don't know what the medical treatment is it's what, not, what, what's it's, the consequence of that happening and frankly it's not something that doctors typically do is it or is it something that it can be I, done outside I, of a surgical procedure? i'm not entirely sure there's also um magnetic implants i'll tell you what i'll let you do tongue tongue forking if you stop mutilating babies and children but not, but, but, and, but, but, and allowing but, but, adults right, right, right. to have their private parts torn apart but we're not talking about kids in this context well talking I, about i'm talking adults. about adults having their private parts torn apart but they're choosing it as i adults. don't it doesn't matter no one can ethic no one can provide no one can sensibly choose that i think you have to talk about why right like if an adult woman knows she doesn't want to have kids and she wants to get sterilized okay maybe she does have a reason to go in and get a hysterectomy right but a lot of the justification for the body, mo- the genital mutilation or the genital modification done to adults or children is we're preventing suicide. And the idea is that death is worse than potentially, you know, living without an organ, being dependent on hormones, anything like that. I think if you want to get your tongue forked because, you know, you want it and it's not going to potentially completely impair your life forever, then that's a very different thing than saying, if you don't let me get my tongue forked, I will die because you probably won't die. Sure, but that's 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 an entirely different argument. I mean, if someone went to a but doctor I'm saying, like, you can't. and said simply, uh, so I I know people who have gotten hysterectomies because they said they just don't they want it done. End of story. Have a nice day. I don't care. And then they they've gotten the surgery, and it's like you're a 30 year old adult. You've made the choice for yourself. You will not have kids, but you can still walk, run, jump, eat, sleep, work. The only thing that's happening is you can't reproduce anymore. It's kind of like. People get their tubes tied all the time. People, you know, get uh, uh, vasectomies. The question is, what's the line? Now, cutting off someone's arms. Well, now you're creating an issue for society where someone's going to be requiring assistance. And that is like, okay, that that's that's 
that's where the line is that I see. I do think that there's a problem with people. I, 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 I just want to be clear. No one can give informed consent to gender mutilation surgery. No one can give informed consent. So the law can't allow you to do it. Doctors can't lawfully or ethically do it. And certainly government shouldn't be subsidizing it and promoting it with children. Because well, if, if you well, allow adults to do it to solve a medical problem, right? Well, why? Well, what if a child has a similar quote medical problem? The suicide, it, the suicide. Now, and that's, now, no, and that's you know, not this a is this is a, this is another big issue. So we now give you whatever you want in terms of medical treatment because you're so far gone psychologically and emotionally, you could commit suicide otherwise. That started in the nineties with the that, opioid that, problem. That's like a hostage situation. That's not medical treatment. They started to have to treat. Pain. But I, 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 I don't want to conflate the claiming children can get sex changes with a legal adult doing whatever they want. Well, they conflate it. So you need and to understand the, the, the relationship. But I, I totally get it. And so I have I have a line there where I'm like, do I think people who are adults should undergo body modification at all? No, I think it's all bad. But uh, okay, if you're going to if you're going to go, you know, get strange body modifications because you want to look or feel a certain way, it's just kind of like I don't know, man. That's just me. I've never been staunchly conservative in that, but going after kids is the line. I mean, that... look at this Dylan Mulvaney, right? Everything he's about is the targeting of children. Absolutely. Everything he, he, he when he talks about my three hundred and sixty five days as a girl, what what yeah. adult female Maybe I don't well, he's know not enough about women. He's saying girls. Yeah, he's already talking about minors. What adult ma females go around talking about girls in a regular way, other than in a joking way? He is not joking and he and he acts like a teenager. He acts like a young, uh, a young he female. He does not act like a teenager. He acts like a little girl. Well, he doesn't even act like any. He doesn't act. He even acts like, like a an, caricature. A caricature of yeah. what he thinks a woman or a girl is. But let's, let's, he's targeting children. Thanks for watching this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And become a member over at TimCast.com for uncensored, members-only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.